All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back. Playing Criminal Case on Facebook. My apologies for starting a little bit late. Um, I, f I didn't realize the 15th was today. My apologies. Um, somebody, somebody messaged me, so I'm doing my stream as well as recording Chapter 1 uh, five hours later than I usually do. So we'll see a couple new people into the chat. And uh, let's head on to Century Mile. Excited. Let's see what we got here. Hey, Ace, I was just thinking how my cousin or baby must be in the middle of the Atlantic by now, sailing on the Gigantic. Uh-oh, that's not good. Anyhow, I'm excited as a frog in a sock about the World Exhibition. It's due to open in just a few days. And as we've got nothing to investigate today, I quite fancy taking a stroll around the site to see them adding the finishing touches. What do you think? Stupendous. I'll just finish my Madmobile and then we can go. Oh, it's so exciting to be here, Ace. They're constructing buildings of all shapes and sizes for the World Exhibition. There isn't even going to be an Iron Tower. The building behind us is also a wonder. It's named the Crystal Palace because it's mostly made of glass. Though, I must say, the workers appear to be running late. They haven't even finished putting... Smash. What was that crash, Ace? came from inside the Crystal Palace. We must take a look at once. Breaking the glass ceiling. Oh, brother. Somebody just got thrown from above. That's what it sounds like. Yep. That's what happened. Body, I see the vase, uh, paint can, wheelbarrow, I see the croissant, and the rope spool. Nice! That was actually a really good job. For first time. Hi, hey, rookie. Oh, we actually got a star! Congrats, man, that's sweet. By Jove, Ace, the woman is dead as a dodo. Look at all those glass shards sticking out of her. But where did the glass come from? Well spotted, there's a bit of a rope attached to the pieces. This must have been one of the panes of glass they were hoisting to the ceiling. Ah, oh, and look, there must have been a spool with which the glass was suspended. But someone clearly sawed through the rope with a blade of some kind. Ace, this was no simple mishap. It was murder. Though a sheet of glass is a most unusual murder weapon, I must say. Why would someone have killed this woman? Wait a second, I think I recognize her. Yes, I read an article about her. Our victim was Nora Barnlow. She was the lead architect for the Crystal Palace project. Well, we already have one important clue to help us find our killer. They left a black sample on that spool when they cut the rope. We should take a sample of it. And as for the wheelbarrow, I can only hope to we find another clue in it. Let's rummage through it, Ace. Subjika. Dead as a dodo. All right, let's start this. Let's take a look at the rope spool. Sweet. Ace, we know Miss Barnlow killer had to touch the spool to cut the rope, so let's see what Viola makes of the substance you collected from it. Sweet. So, want to give you guys also a heads up that um, I am starting Pacific Bay, getting en energy for it. At this point, I can't finish one case with the energy that I have, but hopefully I will have energy within the coming weeks. Once I have energy, I'll start recording it, and I'll actually record it from my iPad so that we can kind of see the progression. So, uh, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys after I grab a bunch of stars. This has been Pachinis88. Au revoir. All right, folks, Pachinis88, we are back. Criminal case on Facebook. Let's examine the wheelbarrow. Oh, that's easy. Boom. Oh, zero seconds. Well, the hard hat you found in the wheelbarrow has a name on it. Ace Gus Smithle. Well, this Gus Smithle must have been working on the Crystal Palace with the victim. Let us question him at once. Hey, 
Hey, Charles. Mr. Smithville, we believe you were working with Miss Nora Barnlow. We're investigating her murder. Miss Barnlow has been murdered? Oh, that poor woman. The Crystal Palace ain't gonna get finished now, is it? All that hard work for nothing. This place was supposed to be her legacy, this was. And mine too, for that matter. I was gonna show it to my grandkitties one day. I see. And can you think of anyone who would have wanted to hurt Miss Barnlow? No clue. I weren't all friendly with her. Like, she was the big boss, the top dog. I'm just a laborer, I am. I hardly sat next to her when she went on the Ferris wheel, you know what I'm saying? Well, thank you for your help, Mr. Smithle. Senior Trooper Ace may have more questions for you later. Ace, we can hardly see your drowning in leads. That man mentioned the victim sometimes rode the Ferris wheel. It's a long shot, but we might find more about her there. I agree. That's right. I changed my look during the live stream, so should check out that look. Very dapper. Very dapper. Let's go back to the... Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to go back to the map. Alright, so we did the time attack, tra time attack trial um, and pretty much crushed it, I think. So we should be able to get this pretty quickly. Oh, they're right next to each other. Are we going to get another star? We are not. Yeah, Smithle doesn't sound like the best last name in the world, but hey, you know. Why, one hardly ever need to buy a copy of the Concordia Gazette given the alarming rate at which you find them scattered about. Let's recover the faded writing. And this appears to be somebody's lunch. Well, what next, A Skiing sandwiches, dastardly donuts, criminal chips? <laughs> I'm only blowing your leg. Have a lock at that uh, on the lunchbox. Have at that lock on the lunchbox. Well, well, well. Who do I think will betray? It's hard, man, because we had Angela in the last one. It's Q's gotta be one, K7, no, KE. MSQ. Boom! Well, I was hoping there'd be at least a snack left in the lunchbox, but it's empty except for this broken badge. You're right, the only way to learn who this badge belongs to is to piece it back together. Thank you. And I, th I feel like the look for the bowler hat is a good look. I think it's a good look, especially for this time period. Catherine Wolf. It's not surprised we see her again. Well, we're in luck, Ace. This newspaper article is about our victim. The headline calls her a fizzing architect. This is the article I remember reading, Ace. And look who it was written by. Isn't Catherine Wolfe that journalist you met whilst investigating the death of George Buchanan? She may be able to tell us more about the victim. Let's speak with Miss Wolfe. Yeah, the Pacific Bay, basically, they just did the intro from Grimsboro with the original one. But I think the first real case um, that they have is... Uh, is with Trevor Finn. The first time they that they utilized me. Interesting. Why, this is a security badge for the World Exhibition, Ace. Look at the name and picture. It's Chief Inspector Halstead. So the Chief Inspector is in charge of the World Exhibition Security. Last time we saw her, she was roaring drunk at the Chocolate Factory. Let's hope she's more coherent this time. That's right. That's right. Miss Wolf, Senior Trooper Ace found your article on Nora Barnlow. Did you know her well? 
Well, enough to write that article. It's rather a tedious piece to write, but one needs to pay the bills. It's a shame, but the news can't always be as thrilling as valet murdering a party guest on behalf of his teenage employer. Oh, it's funny you should say that, because there has been a murder. Nora Barlow is dead. Nora's dead? How unfortunate. Could you tell me a little more? Do you have any leads on the killer? You won't fool us into helping you write another one of your articles, Miss Wolf. Senior Trooper Ace will be the one asking the questions from now on, so stick around. Yes, it is. This is the first case of, uh... Century Mile. Chief Inspector Halston, we're here about... Oh, the murder, I know. Nor Barlow is dead. I'd been supervising preparations for the World Exhibition from the start, and everything had been going swimmingly until now. Sure, the Crystal Palace project was running a bit behind schedule, but nothing Miss Barnlow couldn't fix. But her murder could tarnish the entire World Exhibition, and Mayor Castletown allowed her guts for Garter to be here about this. I have no doubt Senior Trooper Ace will solve this murder swiftly, but we may call upon your assistance again later, Chief Inspector. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be speeding this stuff up. I actually had someone donate to me. Um, I'll have to get his name, but he donated basically um, a decent amount to help me out with this, so thank you. Hey, so I apologize for my unusual garments. I was just rehearsing my role as my namesake for a performance on Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. Is that the play with the donkey? You were thinking of a mid no summer night's dream, my dear Madeline. Anyhow, to come back to that sample you collected from the rope spool. The substance primarily ingredient is tallow, which is notably used to make shoe polish. However, this is not the usual type of polish used to make shoe shine. It is rather boot wax, designed to keep work boots supple. So our killer wears work boots. Thanks, Viola. And good luck with the donkey performance. Yeah, I would totally wait if, uh, <laughs> wait for... Um, the reports, but because of you guys, I don't do that. Hey, Dick, where are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, there you are. Ace, just in time. What's, what, Dick, what's with your face? What the devil have you been doing? I'm working on your investigation, of course. The body itself did not yield the like clues, but I had to look at the piece of rope you sent me along with. It's Clear the killer cut the rope with a simple pocket knife, thereby sending the glass pane crushing down to your victim's head. But I knew I could find more. By suspending a sheet of glass on my own, and cutting rope through the rope with one hand, then with the other, I ascertained something. Firstly, the glass shards to the face are rather painful. Secondly, your killer cut through the rope with their right hand, which means that they're right-handed. Well, Ace, we now know that our killer is right-handed. They'll regret on getting the wrong side of you. That's interesting. Oh, Ace, I can't believe the lead architect of the Crystal Palace has been killed just a few days before the opening of the World Exhibition. This is hardly an auspicious beginning for one of the most hotly awaited events of the year. Well, we do have one thing working in our favor, which is that very few people know about Nora's death. And we might be able to solve this murder without tarnishing the opening of the World Exhibition. Um, Ace, I hate to interrupt, but Mayor Castletown's here. He's in the Chief's office, and he doesn't look too pleased. Of course he's not pleased. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys in Chapter 2. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.